It's March, the daffodils are starting to bloom, there's lots of lambs running about in the countryside, and it's raining. <laughs> but for me, March is the time when the growing year really gets into full swing. It's the time when you can start sowing a vast majority of your seeds, and it's a time when you can finally get out up the allotment and in the garden when the rain stops, of course. But um, I just want to say congratulations to all of you who have managed to resist the urge to sow any seeds too early. March is finally here and it's starting to get a little bit warmer, just a little bit warmer. But still be careful of any frosts. The last frost dates in the UK are in May. So you still need to be wary of any frosts that might wipe out any young plants. But... March is a very, very busy time of year in the garden. So here are a few things that you can be getting up to in March. You can start sowing these seeds in the greenhouse or on a windowsill inside the house. Cucumbers, tomatoes, aubergines, peppers, chilies, and peas inside guttering. You can also sow herbs such as basil, chives, parsley, fennel and coriander. Outside and under cloches you can directly sow carrots, beetroot, broad beans, cauliflower, cabbage, brussels sprouts, spinach, leeks, lettuce, rocket, coriander, radish, turnips, peas, kale, parsnip, kohlrabi and Swiss chard. Now is the time to plant out asparagus, Jerusalem artichokes and onion sets. Early varieties of potatoes can also be planted out now. We tend to stick to the old gardener's rule of planting them out on Good Friday, once the chits are roughly an inch in length and a beautiful dark purple colour. Place strawberry plants in the greenhouse or cover outside plants with cloches to get a nice early crop. You can start sowing sweet peas directly outside and summer flowering bulbs such as gladioli, anemone and lilies can be planted out in spring. Plant out new shrubs and hardy perennials and finish pruning established ones by cutting back all previous growth to make way for new shoots. You can also divide spreading clumps to prevent overcrowding. Leave daffodil foliage intact for at least six weeks after flowering to regenerate the bulbs and provide plenty of flowers next year. Take cuttings from dahlias and chrysanthemums. Start moving seedlings and plants from the greenhouse to a cold frame to help acclimatise them to the weather. Mow lawns and pathways, remembering to trim the edges of borders and beds. Now is the perfect time to sow grass seed too. It's not too late to spread well-rotted manure to help improve the structure of the soil. Mulch compost or leaf mould around the base of plants to help suppress the weeds. Repair netting, clean tools and build a compost bin out of pallets ready for the year ahead. And don't forget about the wildlife by putting up bird houses, bee hotels and make a pond. They will all reward you later on in the year. <laughs> 